how to avoid bearish phases or how to trade bearish phases is a very important part of learning as a trader. In the beginning years, many traders do not know that markets from time to time have these corrections and these corrections are going to lead to market corrections of 8% to 20% sometimes they lead to bearish market which can last for a long period of time. Currently, we are in undergoing one of those kind of a corrections in a bull market where the market went up a lot from November and then in the last three or four weeks, the market has been uh, having selling coming into the market. So how do we identify when is the good time to be very aggressive and when is the good time to be aggressively short and when is the good time to avoid the choppiness which happens. If you do not have this kind of a skill, what happens is you will make money during the bull market and then you will end up giving up the money. I talked to a lot of traders and a lot of people who started trading during the COVID-19 time, they made money. But when the market turned to a bearish market, they were not able to maintain the profit which they had made because they were continuing to trade the same way. So you have to trade differently when the market phase turns. Let's look at the market and see what we saw in this market is this was a very good time to trade very aggressively because the market kept on going up. And then what happened was that the market became choppier here. This, there was a phase for almost two months when the market was choppier. So breakouts had sporadic follow through. Some breakouts were working, some breakouts were not working. So your ability to identify that this market has already made a big move and it has entered choppy market was important. And in order to do this, what you need to look at is underlying buying and selling pressure. The market monitor, which is a tool which I developed many years ago, which is used by many traders nowadays, essentially looks at the underlying buying and selling pressure in the market. When this move started at the beginning of the move, you had a lot of buying coming into the market. You had like series of big days, continuous buying coming in. And then it started becoming choppier. You had selling days. You had like a periods of two, three days of selling followed by two, three days of recovery. Then you started getting more selling. And then in this particular period, you saw a lot of selling, 634 stocks down, 667, 437, 450, and this is a continuous stretch of selling. Now, this corresponds with this particular time period when there was a selling. Now, during this time period, obviously, the best strategy was to use shorts because shorts work very well for the last one week or two weeks uh, when the market turned. And if you try to go long, the follow through was sporadic. So this is a common occurrence in the market when market makes big moves in a short period of time, which is what happened. The markets were over 20% in this particular phase where they made this 28% move in just a couple of months. Then it is followed by periods of corrections. And this cycle of market going up and then correcting within the cycle, uh, larger bull market happens with a relatively like once a year kind of a frequency. And the long duration bearish market happens infrequently and long duration bearish markets have some sort of a reason or catalyst uh, behind them. Now, if you are trading the kind of setups which are momentum based setups, if you are trading setups which are like breakout setups, if you are trading setups which are even pullback kind of setups, then what happens is when the market turns and it starts correcting, all those setups stop working. And as a result, in a short period of time, you can have a lot of setups fail. And then uh, you can end up giving up a lot of the gains which you made during this bullish phase. So developing situational awareness or developing an ability to look at the market and develop what is likely scenario for the next five days, 10 days, 30 days, 90 days, and calibrating your trading and your setup is very important skill. When the market starts turning is when you see bearish breakdowns start to proliferate and they work very well. If you try and short before that, unless you have a setup which is a parabolic short kind of setup, they don't work. Now, in this particular market conditions, when till like an, almost like an, uh, the last week, 
shorts were working very well why were shorts working well uh, because the market was undergoing selling there was money coming out of the market they were selling here 663 437 450 and there was a follow through on the short side because of that now what happened is that once the market is down a lot and whenever we get enter into a bearish phase or a correction phase which is what we are in uh, correction phases are often pu punctuated by big sudden bounces like the kind of bounce which we are looking at today which is like an, a very common phenomena in the bearish phases of market is that you get sudden bounces where stocks which are selling off and if you are aggressively short selling they will have a bounce and then the bounce will last for 2 to 3 days and again selling comes in and selling overtakes some of the biggest bounces one day bounces on the indexes happen during the bearish phases so you need to reduce your time frame of trading you need to be more selective you need to focus more on preserving capital during this time period or go down to a lower time frame many traders they go down to becoming day traders during this time frame one of the disadvantage of that if you are a primary swing trader is that during the bearish market if you start dropping your holding periods then when the actual bull market starts you cannot shift back to becoming a swing trader and you will become a day trader so depending on your style there are some strategies which you can use one is to like be very very selective second is to like you know, basically look at the market and try and project for next 3 to 5 days how the market is likely to do and accordingly play a setup the kind of setup which works very well during bearish market phases is obviously shorts work and the other setup on the long set which works is like this reversals patterns a uh, good example of uh, two or three of them today is like an uh, this is something iot which was a reversal pattern uh, iot which was like something which was a reversal uh, uh, setup which showed up in my reversal scan um, yesterday and this is the one which has like gone up now 7 or 8% net was another reversal setup which was like you know, basically done well uh, fastly was another so these kind of reversal kind of a patterns do very well and you can scan for these kind of reversal patterns and you can look up like you know, basically some of these like say here this is where it showed up in the scan or iot which is another good one showed up in the scan here as a reversal and then uh, has gone up like 8% or 7% today net was another one which showed up here so reversal kind of setups are going to work very well in these kind of conditions which in a normal bull market do not work so well because in the normal bull market uh, money keeps coming so breakouts as a setup works very well so this kind of understanding of the market phases and then changing your setups and your tactics is a survival skill which you develop if you are want to be profitable in the market in the long run i didn't have this kind of a skill in the beginning of my trading career and as a result i used to have wild swings in my equity curve now because i have this kind of skills and i have developed a set of tools to help you uh, i managed to ride out this period with a little damage or still making profit in this particular period so how do you become good at understanding these things one of the ways in which you can become good at understanding this is just by looking at previous market corrections if you look at previous market corrections on the stock market and do a deep dive of all the previous market corrections and looking at each one of these corrections where the market went down uh, in the last 5 10 years and studying what happens during that time period or doing a deep dive on market correction phases then you will have a good understanding of how bearish market start what happens to market break during that time how uh, breakouts work or not work during that time period and as a result of that you can get a better understanding and better prepare yourself for making money from that kind of a phase the other thing which you can do and which is can be helpful is that like uh, in this particular market monitor database which i have uh, been publishing for a long period of time you can see the uh, data going back to many years uh, like 2008 onwards you can see a data 
And then as you can see the data from 2008 onwards, you can see periods when there was a bread deterioration or bread was negative and what happened to the market during that time period. And then study those time periods and create a deep dive. And a deep dive like this is going to be very helpful because if you can avoid drawdowns or if you can lower your drawdowns, then you are always in better mood and you will have a better uh, uh, way to be profitable consistently. And the trick to do that is to understand bearish period and to trade bearish, bearish periods differently from bullish period and use different kind of setups and tactics during that period.